In this video, we're going to look at importing information into an org organizational chart in Visio. So I'm going to undertake this by using the organizational chart template. So I'm going to click on the template under the new section. And I'm going to create it for the metric units. And when you use the organizational chart template, by default, it normally comes up with the planning wizard. I'm going to show you how to use this planning wizard just in case you accidentally cancel it because it could be someone could accidentally close it. So you don't have to use it from here. I'll show you another way, but you could go next from here. I'm just going to cancel it. And I'm going to go through the all chart tab, organizational chart, organizational data section of the ribbon and import. So there's the same wizard. And I'll just activate it from here now. So it's just as easy to go through the old chart, import and import when you want to import it. So I'm going to go next now. And I'm going to use the information that's already stored in a file. I'm going to go through an Excel file. I'm going to now browse for it. So browse for the information. And here's the information I want, which is the organizational chart employee import. So I'm going to import this Excel file. And go next. Sometimes the wizards do take a bit of time going through the wizard. So it's just taking a little bit of time going through it. Now in the Excel file, the structure of the employees and who reports to who has already been set up. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to touch the default information. So it logical would be employee name and who that employee reports to. So that's all going to be set up in X, Excel. When that's clear in Excel, Vizio knows how to read it. So I'm going to leave it on employee name and who the employee reports to. I'm going to display the fields that has been suggested, the employee name and position. There's other columns I could add. If I wanted reports to budget appraisal that's due in this Excel file that I've created, but it's taken the the most logical fields and I'm gonna accept this. So next, and again, I'm not gonna change it again for the next part of the wizard. I'm gonna keep it as next. Now, what I want to do here, I want to I want to have this organizational chart having its own pictures. So the default is don't include pictures. When you've used the wizard, it sometimes remembers that you've used the pictures before. So that's where it might leave it on locate the folder. So mine is on locate the folder because I've used it before. So I'm gonna, that's what I want anyway. So I'll leave it on this option, browse. And I'm now gonna go to the folder that I want. Now I'm going to click open. Now it's important to make, make yourself aware that when it says locate, it does clearly say the folder. So all your pictures have to be in a folder. So that's important when you're doing this kind of work. So I've got my folder. I've done that. And it says match pictures based on employees' names. So that that's quite logical. So all these pictures are being saved with names. Next. And you've got options how you want the organizational chart to appear itself and display itself so the organization chart can be displayed in certain ways. Um, we can take control of the display and decide how it wants to look on each page or we can let the wizard do its work. So I'm just going to let the wizard do its work in this example and then just finish. So again these wizards take a little bit of time going through because there's a lot of information it's got to collect in the background. So that's why this might take a little bit of time and there it is. So we would have to tidy up this organizational chart and you can see that almost all of them have now got pictures against them. There's one or two that haven't. So sometimes not all the pictures come through. Well, I can take care of this by doing this manually. So I can just make the view a little bit bigger so I can see the ones that haven't got pictures. So I'm just going to change the zoom to 100%. And I can see that there's one here that hasn't got a picture, so I can click on it. I can right click 
and picture change picture ah, now I'm going to find the folder that I need which is on the desktop and there it is and the name I want is Martin Fredericks is a person and then I can just come down and see what else there's one here of a thorn same idea picture change picture and then look for the name of the thorn in this example there's the person and open so even if the import of all the pictures I'll just change the zoom back now so we can see how it looks so the whole page so we can now see that they've all got pictures and I'll just change the zoom again just make a percentage I'll just go 60 percent okay so we can see that there'd be a bit of work to do now to put this all shot onto one page but they've all got pictures they've all been imported now it is just a matter of tidying up the old chart and uh, when you get used to it, these these kind of techniques don't take that long but this now completes the training video of importing an organizational chart from excel data that's been saved uh, and also bringing in pictures that have been stored and if they're not imported automatically the pictures we then also did manual in, manual picture imports by clicking on a one of the shapes right clicking and choosing change picture so the wizard does most of it for you sometimes it does all of it for you in this example it didn't do all of it it left out just two of the different people in the organization chart but otherwise the organization chart has got pictures next to each of the names and their positions so this completes the training video on importing an org chart from Excel data as well as pictures which have been stored in a certain location in a folder. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.